As evidence mounts about brain injuries in players of American football, new research suggests even lower impact soccer, the game the rest of the world calls football, may be hard on the brain as well. VOA Steve Baragona has more. Ball meets head. That's just part of the game in soccer, the sport known worldwide as football. Inside your head, your brain is the consistency of a firm pudding, says John Hardy, professor of neuroscience at University College London. But your blood vessels are just a little bit tougher, and so if you do a rapid rotation, they act like little cheese wires and do bits of damage around them. In American football, hard hits are common, and concern is growing about what that does to players' brains. But it's not clear whether frequent head contact that happens in soccer is also a problem. So Hardy and colleagues studied the brains of six longtime soccer players who died with dementia. They found a type of brain damage called chronic traumatic encephalopathy in four of them. CTE is different from Alzheimer's disease, but Hardy says the results are similar. And certainly they are addit additive. Pathology. So if you've got a little bit of brain damage to do with an Alzheimer change and a little bit of brain damage to do with CTE, you're more likely to be demented. Soccer is the most popular sport in the world with clear health and social benefits. And Hardy says this early stage research is not enough to pull the kids off the soccer field. The people we've studied, these are people who, pl who are professional footballers who played football probably every day of their lives for 25 to 30 years, probably many hours a day. This is very different from a casual weekend player or a school player. It's just a different order of magnitude of, of uh, contact. British soccer associations have pledged to support more research on the subject. Steve Barragona, VOA News.